Guys, today we're gonna to talk about how to start YouTube in 2020. Everyone's telling you to do it, and I don't, don't disagree with them. I think it's a great thing, and it's a, if that's what you wanna do, it's fantastic. But I'm gonna explain what you need to do, how much it's actually gonna cost you to be a beginner level, um, uh, what gear you need for that beginner level if you really wanna do it, and how much time and effort it does actually take to get stuff done. Rightio, uh, there's no better time. Let's crank that intro and get on with this. Hey okay, guys, and this is it. This is my entry level to get into YouTube. This is realistically what you need to start minus the light I have up on top of me. That's just a light, that's a cheap, you can get them on eBay. I think the lights were, I bought a kit where I got two of them, a green screen and that, it was about 120 bucks Australian. Now, YouTube, as I said, you need video and the best way to get in there without too much cost is your phone. Uh, all your good phones is an iPhone 10. So it's only got the one lens, but does a job. I do all my work vlogs in my lunch hour. Um, I do them on this with a $40 anamorphic Yolanzi lens, and it works a treat. Uh, coupled to that, uh, I have a Rode video mic, which was what all the guys suggested, and it is a fantastic mic and gives great sound. I think that's about 100 bucks. So, so far we're looking at about 120 bucks for lights, uh, 40 bucks for a nice lens. You could buy a wide angle lens, whatever you want. I've just gone anamorphic because I just, it, it's good, got that nice thing with lights and stuff in the back. It's good for filming and video. Uh, 100 bucks for one of these Rode mics on eBay. You can get them second hand, or not second hand, but new, but you can find them there if you just got to look around and shop. Uh, a little clamp to go to hold the phone. That's really super important, trust me on that. Um, that's about, I think they're about five bucks on eBay, you can get them anywhere. And I've went the Joby, Joby little stand. I think this is the three. Uh, that's pretty much a basic. Now that's gonna give you everything you need pretty much to get it on. Once you've got that basic set up, you can go out and film. You can take photos using your, your phone camera, they're fine. You can do your video, they're fine. Remember, it's all about the content. So what you get off a current day smartphone is absolutely fine for what you're gonna get on YouTube. It's gonna be at least 1080p, and probably if you've got a really new phone, a flash phone, that's gonna be 4K. That's gonna let you get on there with some really good images. You're not gonna be upset about the way it looks, trust me. You've got that set up. That's all I need, Ash. No, you don't. Actually, there's a lot more involved in that. You need a computer, and you've got to be able to run that computer. Uh, software, and that's why I mentioned if you're on the Apple side, you'll get iMovie as part of your Apple software for free. So that's good. You can go and buy other ones, but then you're looking into money. Um, I've moved over to Premiere Pro after about, I think, my first year. I did my whole first year on iMovie to learn the process. Um, and it's a really simple system, iMovie, and then when I went to Premiere Pro, it was super difficult, and now I'm getting better and better at it. Uh, but that costs money. So a Premiere Pro, if you're gonna do, if you're gonna buy that, it can be, I think it's about 70 bucks Australian. I got it on special, I think they had like a 12 month deal for like 59 bucks, which was really good. But that include all software. So that gives me everything to do thumbnails, gives me Lightroom to edit my photos. Uh, Photoshop, if again, for photos or anything else, if I need to do thumbnails or anything like that. All that comes, you need the software. And that's why, what they don't tell you is, that's why a lot of them, I think, go to Premiere Pro. Because as well, you're already paying for that, but then you get everything else thrown in with it. So that's really cool. For that 70 bucks a month, that's awesome. Because if you go the, um, say, DaVinci Resolve and all that, you don't get the stuff to edit your photos. You don't get the stuff to do your thumbnails, to do your PowerPoints and all the other stuff that don't tell you you need to run the channel. Um, and that's pretty important. 
Apple's pretty good in that re regards because you've got Word docs, you've got a the PowerPoint basically presentation or whatever it's called uh, that you can use. So that's really handy and that'll save you a little bit of money if you are on Apple. Um, but yeah, so if you're going to go up uh, and you want to use the, the, the elite stuff, that's the next level. You don't need that to start with. Start with iMovie, start with what you've got, the phone. So that, that trims your cost down. So you, you've already got a phone, you don't have to pay for that. So you're up for maybe, at the moment, a few hundred bucks. Right, what else you need? You're going to need somewhere to store all this. <laughs> and that's one they definitely don't tell you about. Uh, if, you, if you're going to go gung-ho and go straight into 4K, be prepared to spend a fortune on storage. Um, I had four tetrabyte or TB hard drives, portable one, and another back one, backup one at home. I, in the, in basically after 12 months, I just chocked it, totally full, ridiculous. And from that stage, I went back to 1080p. I've learned some tricks and we'll talk about them later. But you're gonna need storage. So you need a good, reliable hard drive that's not gonna crash. You need probably a backup of that. So you've got your computer. You don't wanna store everything on your computer because that is gonna bottleneck that and slow down your SSDs or whatever's in your computer, depending on what model and what level you've got. So you wanna keep that as empty as possible. Uh, the best solution, if you can afford it, is SSD, something like a T5 Samsung that you can carry with you because they're super mega fast. Um, so that's really good. So you can look at those. But cheap wise, and that's where we're starting at, you want to get a Western Digital. Um, I've had no dramas with them. They seem to be pretty reliable. Uh, you can get a, I think it was, I got a 10 terabyte now. That is about 350 bucks, 300 odd dollars. I think I paid for it on eBay, and that will last you a good couple of years before you need to get another one. And you're gonna need to get another one and another one because you've got to back it all up. You've got to back up your computer. You've got to back up all this these movies into your YouTube file um, that you're gonna have to create. So storage is something they don't tell you. Don't forget that. Radio. So for a cheap system, I've gone through the costs. So my total costs for a startup package were lens 45, tripod 100, light $160 I had down, um, a microphone 100 bucks, um, hard drive 227, software 924 for the Adobe suite, and then training say 20 bucks 50. Uh, with everything, that's 1500 bucks without the cost of the phone in. So that's a bit of an eyeball on exactly what you're up for to start with. That's, it sounds really cheap, but it just sounds easy just to go upload to YouTube, but actually it isn't. So then we can move up to the different next levels. So for the next level, we're gonna move over to my table so I can show you a bit more of the other stuff and what I think is probably your next level. And that's probably where I'm at at the moment. There's a bit more involved. You can start thinking about a camera uh, and different bits and pieces. Let's go do it. Right here, guys, so we've got our, got our base, our entry level unit we've got here. We can go out, we can take film, we can do everything we need. We've got a really good sound, which is super important. Once you've got the uh, grasp of that and you're, you're happy with that, you've spent your 1500 bucks on top of your phone, uh, you, you've learned the basics and you wanna sort of get a little bit better, um, then I suggest your next level up. Then you're gonna look at an action camera. Um, I've used GoPros. Um, I haven't tried the DJ Osmo or the new Insta One X 360X. I haven't tried those, but something like them, especially the waterproof side of things is fantastic. Um, I have got an upgraded one because the sound out of these are terrible. It's not too bad if you're in a non-windy place, but if you're outdoors, it's pretty average. Uh, and then straight away, unfortunately with GoPro, they're the only ones that have that issue. You need to buy one of these, which uh, attaches into this little door. Plug that in, and now you can plug this in. So now you have sound. Now that's why I said you, you can't really go there because there's no hot shoe mounts on your normal GoPro mounts. So I've gone this where I can plug this in and then slot this in 
I'll just speed this up for you. Okay, so I've, now we're back. Rightio, so there's, your, there's a little, basically a mini vlogging kit as well, and that now gives you the really good sound. So if you don't want to use your phone to do it, this is your next cheapest option. Uh, I think like 600 bucks or the new GoPro 8 is about 800. They're all very similar around the six to 800 mark, depending on what you want to buy and how much you want to spend. If you've already got one, say from a GoPro Hero 4 Black onwards, that gives you up to 4K anyway. Uh, 1080p is really all you need. So as a base unit, you can have two options. You can have this unit or you can have this with a phone. Now I've got steadiness too, because in 1080p on these, You've got that hyper smooth motion, so you can pretty much go there and it's gonna look good. So there are your two base options. You've got your phone or your action cam. So you're looking at 2,100 bucks for something like this around there because you need to add that little casing. Again, there's two grand just to start in YouTube and that's the basics. Okay, doke, let's talk about the next level up. We've got our base unit. That's our starting point. Now that's gonna do our walking, our B-roll shots, uh, some hyperlapse stuff in there. That's always really good. You can put this on the dash of your car. That's, gonna, that's a fantastic tool and really good. We're gonna go into, when we get to we wanna buy a camera or something a little bit more ramped up, I guess. Okay, so camera wise, uh, you're gonna need something at least 1080. Uh, it's, I suggest a flippy screen. If you're vlogging, super handy because you're on the move, you wanna make sure you're not bobbling around and cutting your head off and doing that sort of stuff. So that's, that's really, really good. I did a fair bit of research before I got into it uh, and what I wanted to buy. I wanted something to do photography. I also wanted something to do the video and Canon has a great name. They do great colors and I went the M50. Now I got mine on eBay for 600 bucks. Uh, you'll see them in store for eight, $900. You can just shop around, you can get one. M50 has the flippy screen out the side. It can do 4K. Uh, it's a really good menu system. It's really easy to use and I can wholeheartedly put it forward to you to say that that's a great entry level camera for you to start with. Uh, if you are a Sony person, a Nikon person, uh, Nikon has the new Z50. Beauty of that thing is uh, it has the full size mount for the lenses. So you can go and use their full all their lenses. And once you buy those lenses, they're gonna fit you for the rest of your life. Now lenses, I also suggest, I think you want a wide angle lens and that's the one I've got on the camera that I can't show you and that is the Sigma 16mm uh, autofocus lens, and that is absolutely beautiful. It does a great picture, as you can see, I use it all the time now. Uh, just be aware you want a wide angle, and then maybe some sort of zoom is really handy to, to start with. That's a good mid-level start. Other lights you may wanna look at in your mid-class, you wanna get maybe an RGB one. I'd love to show you this, but this one broke, but an RGB light just to give you those colors to give you another light that's portable so you don't have to carry, obviously you can't carry that these guys around all the time, but this gives you that portability to take with you. Filters, once you get to your camera filters, I've got a variable ND filter on my Sigma lens, that's on adapter rings, so I've got a adapter rings to go up and down. Right. Now mid-tier, we can also think about a gimbal. Now, I wanted to get one. They can be expensive. They're the five to $600 mark. This is a Siri, uh, Siru, or however you say it, uh, P1. It does mirror, small mirrorless cameras like my Canon M50, and it's not too bad. I've, I'm, I'm still learning to get used to it. Uh, it's a little bit tricky once I do have my big Sigma lens on there to balance it. It can do it, but it takes a little bit of work. Uh, it'd be really good to, it'll also take my phone and this GoPro on here as well. And then I guess storage. Storage is the next thing we need to talk about. 
at a base level. You want just something to go around. Um, this cost me 60 bucks. Uh, it's got pockets on the front that you can use. So there's plenty of storage at the front there for your phone, wallet, keys. Um, this will also do, it's got a pocket inside at the top here, which is fantastic for my, for my filter rags, cleaning tools and stuff like that in there. And then it's also, it can take the camera and then lenses on the side, batteries, all that sort of stuff. And then it's got another hard area down the back here that you can put other stuff. Uh, once you go up the next level, uh, you're going to need something for all your gear and you're going to have a fair bit, I'm sure you will. Um, and there's a million bags around. Um, this is a, bit, a fairly big bag. It's a, I got this on one of the Kickstarter things a couple of years ago. I never really used it once I got it. Now I do my photography. It's been fantastic, actually. It carries crap tons of gear. You'll need a good bag. That is going to all come down to personal preference. Um, they can get excessive. You can go all the way up to a Peter McKinnon bag at six, seven hundred dollars a unit. Awesome bit of kit. Again, start small. Buy a cheap. You can buy a small, cheap copy on eBay. Uh, a cheap little camera bag for twenty dollars with delivery, which is insane. Get that. Try that first. Work out what you need, what you've got, how you use it, and then go buy something. So that's your mid-level. Now your mid-level, cost-wise for mid-level, you're gonna be looking easily at anywhere to three and a half thousand dollars. And that's, again, not the highest price. A Z50 is worth more, there's a thousand, so add another 500, so there's four grand. Uh, if you wanna go to a, a, a Sony, um, A6600, they're about $1,200 for a base camera. There's $700, so you look $4,200. Hence why I said start small with your, your basic or your phone and work your way up. Hey guys, anyway, so that's it. Uh, that's, that's the cheapest options up to a sort of mid-range options and the cost. So we're going anywhere from $1,500 to $4,000. So it's a massive big difference. Uh, in costs there, so just be aware that that's what it's going to cost you. The other bit to factor in is time. Uh, you're going to need to A, train up and learn how to use these editing systems. Uh, if you are using Premiere Pro, I can give you a, a quick tip and it will save you a bit. Use the pre-made settings when you're uploading. So upload it as a 4K. Uh, and you can go down, the sc scroll down to the bottom, it'll have YouTube 1080p, YouTube 4K ultra high definition. Uh, even if it's 1080p, upload it as 4K, and then when you put it on your YouTube, it'll compress back down, but it'll give you a little bit better picture. I got that tip off Matty Hoppier, so that was really quite cool and it's been working well. Uh, so little tricks like that that you're just not gonna know. So training's gonna take a long time, so try Udemy, it can take me as a beginner. Um, oh, I've easily spent 30 to 40 to 50 hours doing one video. So yeah, there's lots to learn in there. So time editing's figure in at least 20 to 30 hours per video. What you don't know when you first start also to get any money out of AdSense, which is Google and the basic money tree side is you've got to get 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 viewing hours in, the, in 12 months. Um, anyway, I hope this has helped you. I hope this gives you a bit of an idea of what it takes to get onto YouTube, how much it's gonna cost you, what's involved, uh, what you need to know and do, and how it, a little bit of it works. If you've got any questions, queries, uh, I'd love to help you. I've, I enjoy it, I love this, I'm having a ball doing it. Um, I just wanted to sort of give you something different. Everyone's telling you to do it and what gear they've got. Well, I've shown you sort of what gear I've got. And um, yeah, now go do it. Get out there, get out in that big world. Go do what you wanna do, tell us all your story. So I hope you can come and join us all on YouTube and do what you do. That's what it's all about. Do what you do and show the world and 
I'm sure you'll get people that want to come and watch what you do. Like I do, because I enjoy watching other people learn this stuff. It's always, always interesting. Anyway, that's it from me. Uh, if that helped you out or it didn't, thumbs up or thumbs down, whichever way you'd like to go. Um, I'll have some videos here that you can go and watch. Probably some of my current videos you can go check out. That'll be pretty cool. If you want to watch some more from me, um, I've got the Another Day, Another Vlog series, which is every day news, tech, reviews, what's happening in my world. Uh, you can come and join that. Um, subscribe, and you'll definitely know when that that should be down here. I think somewhere a bell over here. You know what to do. It's free. It's not going to hurt you. It doesn't cost you a cent. I won't charge you a cent for this brilliant advice. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time.